Greetings and welcome back to my countdown to 2020, or my top 25 memories of 2019. In this series, I'm building some sort of artistic references to cool memories that I have that I'm grateful for from this year. And we are on number eight. And this time I'm going to try to get a long range view of this reveal of number eight. So let's see. Boom. What we have here is my backyard and we have a squirrel sitting on the deck and eating a little nut. We've got a squirrel feeder back here and we've got another squirrel climbing up the tree. You can just see his tail sticking out around the back. And then in the background, we've got a farm field out behind the house, out behind the deck. So if you take a look at this picture, that's my backyard in the fall. Imagine that this is you kind of sitting out here on this deck and just enjoying the nature. Maybe you're working on your laptop a little bit. And here we've got new backyard and squirrels. All right, so we are going to transform this space into my backyard and uh, have some references to the field behind it, as well as uh, we're going to have some of the evergreen trees and we want to do a corner of the deck and we want to pay homage in particular to the squirrels uh, because the coolest thing and I'm just gonna go ahead and start by filling this wall the coolest thing is when we were looking for places to to live uh, we had about four or five we had about four or five different options and when I saw this view of the basically from the from the street pulling into the driveway and I saw that there was this farm field out behind the house and the backyard was kind of enclosed by trees like I immediately knew that this was uh, the place that I wanted to rent uh, I was super super excited by what I saw and so I'm gonna go ahead and put sort of the the yellowish of the farm fields uh, I was thinking of doing the crops in rows but I actually may do the brown may have it that the crops are double and the brown is in the rows so I really love just the way it looked before I even went into the house now the brick of the house you know, the brick exterior and the, um, just the, just the layout and everything is really nice as well. We'll probably talk about that in a future video, but what really, really caught me was the backyard. And I've always liked to live on the border between, uh, suburbia, which is like strip malls and gas stations and all that, all within easy reach. And farmlands and forest preserves just a few blocks one way or the other and that is what I found here in this place and I cannot tell you how happy I am with the location but the cool thing that is going to be and the deck as you saw in the picture uh, for this location just opens right out onto uh, right out onto that uh, Splendor, there will never be nosy neighbors behind us, and there will never be uh, anything other than, you know, farm field. And this location attracts a lot of critters. We've got some raccoons, big fat raccoons, skunks, possum, deer, lots of geese, uh, particularly now in the winter, I'm finding. <laughs> and, um, uh, coyote but the one and chipmunk but the one that uh, we like the most and I'm so happy that my son David is happy with this location he he saw it and he immediately loved it as well for the squirrels <laughs> he was super excited about uh, squirrels because when he grew up like none of the None of the houses that we ever lived in really had 
really had good good squirrelage. <laughs> so he always wanted to live in a house with squirrels. And I didn't really know that until we moved here. And the first thing he did, which made me so proud, was he went out and he bought a squirrel feeder, which he put up uh, in the tree. And he fills it with squirrel food. And he, he's got his bedroom windows situated so that he can look right out onto the squirrels. And he just watches the squirrels, which is so cool. Uh, I really am so happy that he, uh, that he is happy in that fashion. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill this in, whoops, as if it is the deck, or is the backyard, again, abstracted. And we'll show you a couple videos of squirrels while I'm laying this out here. And they are just such curious little critters, but they love to have fun. These squirrels are, are like fun 24 seven. So much energy. I mean, you know, you you've heard all the all the memes about squirrels and this and that. But just put a little bit of food out in the food box, and you just sit there and you watch them for a time, and they they are just so much fun. And it's funny. I'll talk about this a little bit more in future episodes too. But I've been watching a an old TV program where uh, squirrels figure prominently uh, more about that in a future episode so here here we are we're building this is kind of the the view out there to the farm field with the major uh, pine tree here and we'll go ahead and we'll cut, spruce it up a bit see what I did there make this a little bit wider who knew I was gonna make a spruce joke in this episode I didn't and then this one, this one we're gonna start the leaves up here because it's fairly uh, bare in the lower part, which is perfect because right about here <coughs> is where he put the bird feeder. And I'm wondering, I don't think this will work, but I'm wondering, oh, it absolutely works. That is is freaking totally, absolutely a, bur a squirrel feeder. That is totally, absolutely a squirrel feeder. I'm super happy with that. All right, so now we need probably, we're probably gonna do one more layer like this, and then we're gonna get out our acacia logs, which represent the deck. So the deck is right about here. And we're just gonna put it flush to the ground. Again, this is a representation. Right about here, there's like a gate and there's a step down. And then we'll do this. And since um, we're, gonna, we're gonna mix in some different plants here. Now these guys, I think in this version of Minecraft will actually grow if you're not careful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a block above them. And we'll just throw, we already have some of that. We've got some of this. So we'll go with that and then we'll set block. We have that, this plus one, this barrier. And there should be a barrier block here. That I think should keep that from growing. And we'll put Put this here by the neighbor's house we'll stick this here and then for good measure we'll put because this this is kind of where you walk down into the yard we'll go ahead and put this here and we'll set block this this plus one barrier uh, that's pretty good and then the deck Should be oh actually it'll be out like this so this will all be decking here and I almost wonder if I should cheat a little bit now let's get some of this light out by doing that 
Nobody will see it from there, but it'll help. It'll help pull out light from this way. So let's go ahead and put. Oh, I guess this is here because the thing is like this. We can actually put this right here. And we'll go ahead with these now. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I, that's going to be a little too high for our representative deck. So we're going to do this. And I'll go ahead and stick this here just because of the corner. And I don't. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and put in. We'll go ahead and put in the table and chairs. Um, we'll put a table, a chair, excuse me, here, 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 here. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it as if you're kind of looking, looking in, and then. Let's do let's do a fence and we'll go ahead and we'll put a carpeting on top. Now when the when this falls there. When the orange falls, this will disconnect, so that'll look just fine. And this is just the corner of the deck here. Now we're going to do the piece de resistance, which we're going to use andesite and diorite for fluffy gray squirrel fur. Uh, we're going to need a stripped dark oak. We're going to need a oak trap door. We're going to need some levers. And you'll see what that's for. And we're going to need some diorite or andesite. Sorry, it's not diorite. Slabs for the curvy bits because squirrels have curvy bits now I want this squirrel standing on the railing here and then I want his kind of toesies sort of well this toesies kind of gripping the the railing this one I'm gonna keep it up so there's a little space here, so you can get you can get the um, the feeling of what's going on there, and then he's got actually a bushy white belly. We're gonna make him a little bit big because again, this is representative. We're zoomed in on the squirrel, and we're gonna start putting his tail up this way. I think actually this is probably curved in that way. Uh, we'll go out to this way so we can curve a squirrel's tail back up nope that ain't right it's up here I think and I'm just looking at a picture of a squirrel uh, <laughs> that I have handy so I can kind of see now one of the one of the magical things about squirrels that you may not know is that they're their tails tend to curve back. They go up and they go up this way and then they go back this way. But that's looking a oh, that might not be bad actually. I was gonna say that's looking a bit long, but that looks like a good squuffy fluffy squirrel tail. It does kind of look like a squuffy squuffy fur, fur tail. And then we need his head. And we need his little ears. Now I, for the life of me, don't think that uh, there's a better a better block for squirrel ears than that. Um, but you know what? That, that neck is too long. So let's go with this here. And then we'll put his little face out. And I wish I could put a little nose on him, but I can't really do that, I don't think. And we'll put his little arms coming out like this. And we'll get rid of that one there. So put the ears, but whoop, 
that's not ears. He doesn't need armor like a shoulder pad. So that's this that's the basic squirrel's body. I think that looks pretty darn good. It's about as good as I'm gonna get in this format. And then we're gonna stick the acorn there. Like he just got that acorn out of the tree and he's being a little mischievous guy. And maybe, you know what, just for fun. Maybe there's another squirrel back here. Maybe there's another squirrel back here. And he's he's in the process of climbing up that tree and his little tail's wrapping around the side. That wasn't planned, but this guy, I think this guy back here, we can give him one of the dark squirrel eyes. See, it didn't quite work on this because it's like too far back. The eye should be right about there. And I couldn't figure out any block that would be good for ears when I was thinking about this. But maybe that's a squirrel going up. Oh yeah, when I do it like, oh actually, you know what? That's a cute, that's a cute little way to do ears. How does this look? No, you don't even see them. And that, that'll only give you one of the ears. So levers it is, but for this guy, here's his, his, these are like his ears. And his, his, his face is up here in this branch. This is like the top of his head, and then his tail goes down and around. I think that's... Uh, it's so hard to see him, though. What if I do this? That's better. That's better. That's better. Sorry, we got two squirrels playing in my backyard. In the deck looking out towards the field. Nice, secluded, beautiful backyard. I'm so happy with uh, the place I'm renting this year. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it.